Last last Sunday, the fourth this month was uh, Pentecost. Holy Spirit came as uh, Jesus Christ had promised. Holy Spirit came. All the believers who want to receive the Spirit of God. And I want to tell you, uh, the big event last week, what happened the last week, uh, uh, the early uh, the June 1963, uh, the Six Days War broke out 50 years ago in Jubilee year. This, uh, this war, we call the Six Days War, which uh, uh, had uh, the, the fought between Israel and other countries. All other countries around the Israel attacked the, and, uh, and the, uh, the June 4th through the seventh this way. God, Almighty God. Ah, yes. And a miracle. God helped Israel to bring the, the marvelous victory to Israel. Yes. This uh, this war, six days war, is a uh, very very important historical historically event. We should know. Israel had captured East Jerusalem through the this six days war as uh, planned. Land East Jerusalem. Israel got this the city of God. This prophecy, Luke twenty one, chapter twenty four, was fulfilled. Jerusalem, we do trample on by the Gentiles until the Gentiles, until the times of Gentiles was fulfilled. Exactly this prophet, Jesus Christ prophesied has been fulfilled on six days war. Hmm? Since Jerusalem was destroyed age 70 by the teeth of Romans. So uh, I want to understand this event concerning the last days. Yeah, I, we are really, really live in the, the last of last days. Hmm? The parallel scripture of this, Matthew 24, 14, this gospel of the kingdom will be preached. whole world as a testimony to all the nation. This gospel preached to all the nation. And then, and will come. 
Jesus Christ prophesied to disciples at the Mount Olive in Olivet about the last day's prediction. So we we see lot of sign which are showing everywhere in this world now. What happened last week? Yeah. London. London was attacked by terrorists. Huh? Two times. The terror, terror, oh, terrible terror has been happening in every this world we see in every day throughout the TV. Hmm? Listen, Bible say. <clears throat> Luke 21, 26, Jesus Christ predicted. Man, is this very, very it's, it's important prophecy by Jesus Christ, we should know. Man will faint from the terror, terror. Apprehensive of what is coming on the world. For the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Yeah, this prophecy Jesus Christ had foretold to disciples at the mountain or exactly has been fulfilled. This time, we see every day in the world, terror, terror, we see terror has been happening. No safety place in this world by the terrorist, ISIS, radical Islamist organization, which Hate Christian, hate the, the, the Western people. Hmm? Oh. Our world is spinning of our control. And the truth is descending into chaos on the multiple front we see every day through the media. Oh, I can't believe that. But I know, you know, Christians know, they who don't believe Jesus Christ, they don't know Bible, never know. Let me tell you later. This can be very this Hiding for those, that I just told you, that I speak now, who do not understand why this is happening, why terrorist is happening, why natural disaster is happening everywhere. Hmm? What will be the outcome by this terrible thing we are seeing now? But we know, you know, I know, that the very good news <laughs> in the end, in the end times, hmm?
Listen, my friend. As Jesus tells us, now, now, today, this time, when these things begin to happen, what are these things? Terrorism, natural disaster, a lot of pestilence, a lot of wars, a lot of wars, things we never expected before. It's happening. When you see this thing, look up, stand up, the, lift up to your eyes, your head, because your redemption draws near. Luke 21, 28. Huh? These things that Jesus report to our found proceeding verse of Luke 21, I have told you. Well, I, I, I want to just tell you something, a little bit. Jesus Christ speaks of the sign of the last day. Yeah? You and me are living the last day now. We know. Where are we living now? We know. What time are we living now? Bible says, the Jesus said, Luke 21, uh, Mark 24, the, uh, the Mark 13, the pro the Jesus Christ predicted the, in the sign of the last day at the Mount of Olive. And the, uh, the religious deception. Yeah, you see, a lot of false prophets came out. I am the son of a God. I am the, I am the God. I am the prophet, great prophet. Follow me. You can see the lot of false prophets come up, is coming out. We see that. War, famine, hungry. Look at Africa. A lot of people is dying by famine, disease epidemic, hmm? disease, like Asia, pneumonia, uh, and the cancer, oh my God. Persecution. People would just think uh, that mankind uh, could progress has to this foolish and uh, destructive behavior, they might think. Hmm? We can solve this problem as uh, our ability, as our political policy. Let me tell you, don't think about the political correctness, which is now a big problem people had contradicted of this policy in government, in the world. Poli political correctness, that is going to deceive the Christian. I don't have much time to explain all the, the details of this political correctness. This, this is against the Bible. We believe. All right. Uh, after all, they. Why can't we? Why can't we? The finish. Why can't we solve this problem that is happening right everywhere? Right? What's suffering? Uh, why can't we? We using our intelligence and the knowledge we have to solve this problem. Why do we still look at the social injustice? Why racial? Why ethnic that is happening? 
in some country. This country too. Yeah. Moral problem, ethnic problem, and the religious strife. Hmm? It's, uh, this time, and Muslim hate, Christian hate, the other religion hate Christian. It, it, it really, really big problem. Why do we see the increasing terrorist strike? Terrorist attacks. Huh? That I want to emphasize uh, to speak uh, of terrorism that is happening in everywhere now. Hmm? Especially Europe. You know? Why? Why a lot of terror? has been happening, especially Europe continent, like uh, Paris, London, Brussels. Uh, why? Uh, let me tell you some in the, in the history. Uh, the, uh, the, you know who, who is the descendant of northern Israel that had, had, dis, had been destroyed by Assyria, B.C. 722. You know, southern part of Judah is Israel now, but northern part of Israel that destroyed by the enemy, Assyria, people of that country after was destroyed were scattered all everywhere. People went to Europe continent. So, uh, let me tell you, you should know the descendants of that country, northern part of Israel, are now the people of English-speaking people, such like British, America, Australia, Canada. They are descendants of the northern part of Israel that was destroyed by the Assyria BC 722. So they Muslim, a lot of Muslims are living in the Europe continent now. Each country, you know. At least 5% to 20, 30 percent population of their country are living by Muslim. Yeah? All right. So I want to I want to I want to introduce uh, and we should know the Bible, the answer of this question, why, why so much terrorism, violence is happening right now in Europe and everywhere? The answer is very clear. The Bible is the most remarkable the book. Eh? God reveals his mind to us in its page, the Bible. He predicted long ago the people of Israel that, listen my brother and sister, if they reject him and his commandment. 
severe punishment would be the result. Notice this stern warning by God found in Leviticus chapter 26. I want to read Leviticus chapter 26. Okay, just a solution. But if you do not obey me and do not observe all these commandments, and if you despise my statutes, or if you soul of a host of my judgment, so that you do not perform all my commandments, but break my command, covenant, I also will do this to you. Listen, listen, listen. I will do, God say, I, he gonna do that. I will even appoint terror, terror, T E R R O R, terror. We see every day now, terror over you, not you, the people of Israel, it's the descendants of the people, Western people, who doesn't know Jesus Christ. And Wasting disease, wasting disease, and the fever which shall consume the eyes and the cold sorrow of your heart. You shall sow your seed in vain. You cannot eat your harvest. Your enemy will eat. Hmm? This is God's mind on the subject of rebellion against him. It's a parallel scripture, as you, you know, Deuteronomy 28. Blessing and the curse. Do we see a world that Despite his commandment, then we should not be surprised. I, I don't surprise. What happened now? Because we know, you know, what this world is going on. We know what the end of this world that. Jesus Christ predicted through the revelation. Hmm? We know. No wonder. But people of the world, they, they surprised whenever this attack happened. Or they're afraid. Or what, what's going on in this world? Because they don't know what What's going on in this world? Hmm? We should not be surprised that result would be increasing terror attacks. This, this is only the beginning. Bible says many other painful consequences will follow. We see now, our Western nation, as I told you, America, Canada, the Australia, the British, Western nation, the descendants of the, 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 the Northern Israel, who scattered into the Europe continent. Our Western nation have rejected God's law. They don't listen to God's word. They don't believe the Jesus Christ. You know, look at the Europe now. The Church of Europe almost destroyed. It's empty. Every church in Europe, British and the France and the Denmark, you know, Sweden. Belgium, the church were church are being 
empty, empty space. All church are took over by Muslim. Muslim occupied the Christian church now. You know that, what I'm talking about. Hmm? Yes. Yes, we have despised it. We entertain ourselves with sex and violence, fornication. That is sex prior to marriage. Adultery, homosexuality. That is a big, big problem now in this country. Transgenderism, violent video games. Huh? Every kid are addicted to this violent video game. That's why they're killing, killing, killing. And all other things is plague our societies. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. They, they, uh, the Bible says, the fool says, there is no God. Hmm? Psalm chapter 10, 4, the wicked in his proud countenance does not seek God. God is none of his thought. The word of God is amazingly accurate. Huh? Oh. Is, it, is it not significant that God predicted more than 2,500 years ago, the very word that homosexual activities used to describe their movement. We see the <laughs> homo lesbian parade on the street. We see, sometimes, that I'm talking to now. Huh? God is watching what they are doing. Sodom was known for its gross sexual license. And, you know, prophet Ichigel, Equate, equate Sodom to end time behavior. Exactly, HKL point out Sodom. So this time, this, this generation, this world is like Sodom and Gomorrah. Jesus also said. The Bible reveals the cause of our program as well as the solution. We think we are in charge of our lives. We think that we can solve our own problem apart from God. Look around this world. How are we doing? What news headline are you reading? This today's title is Yesterday prophecy, today's headline. Think about it. One news headline, you see now. How is it that we can know that instead of mankind solving this problem, they, they will grow ever worse. Worst, worst to, from worst to worst. Getting worse, Bible predicted already. It's nothing strange. 
We know you know. The answer is, it is the Bible it gives us. Second Timothy chapter 13. But evil men and the impost will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. It's a parallel scripture, Revelation 20 to 11. It is no longer fashionable to speak of, of the devil. You, you should discern of this fact we see. Huh? Keep in mind what is this? What else this is going on now through the Bible, through the revelation God can give to you. That uh, that exactly uh, you know, who pulls the report to in this passage, Ephesians two, chapter one through the two. Hmm? In other words, Satan broadcast thought. Okay? Satan who control this air. Prince of darkness broadcast such mood and attitude into unsuspecting human minds, unbeliever. They are deceiving now. They don't know what they are doing. What I'm speaking now because they are deceiving by the spirit of evil. That is how he directs the course of this world. We think of it. That is how he promotes this obedience. That is how people profess to love Jesus. But listen, I didn't finish yet. But till speaking by mouth, I love Jesus. But do act the opposite of what Jesus Christ instructs. They say, Bible said, Luke 6, 4, 6, chapter 46, but why do you call me, call me, Lord, Lord, and do not the thing which I say. Do not, you do not do which I say. Even you speak to, I love Lord, Lord, help me. Oh, uh, my, 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 my time is closing now. I, I got to hurry up. This is the good news. Here is the good news I want to say as a conclusion. This sermon. Jesus said, as predicted, Mount Olive, Mount Olive seminar to disciples, be always on the watch, 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 look at the watch in the world, spiritually, and pray, pray that you may be able to escape all, all, all that is about to happen. Huh? And that you may be able to stand before the God. Before the Son of Man. Oh, hallelujah. This very, very dear comfort the word of Jesus Christ speaking to us this time now. Hold this world as a weapon. You can fight against this world, against this terrorism you may be afraid. Don't afraid the terror. Hallelujah. Psalm 91 7. Even though the 1,000 may fall down in at my side, even though 10,000 may fall down at the right hand, it will not come to you. Jesus Christ said. The psalmist says to the, huh? Hold it. Don't worry about the terror. Even terror that happened and everywhere. 
Holy Spirit covers the Holy Spirit heavy around your, your house, it belongs to everything you are doing. The Holy Spirit, the blood of Jesus Christ, and covers everything you are doing now. Hallelujah. Got the victory. Hallelujah. See you later. Bye bye.